Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking once more for the very last time about that upcoming snowstorm. I have a final forecast for you guys today, so stay tuned for all of that. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. And I'd also ask that you check out our store. We have awesome, awesome products over there that you can check out on our Direct Weather store. That's going to be in the description and the pinned comment down below, as well as our Patreon page, where we just made a post about a potential storm that the GFS has picked up on that is possibly going to bring some wintry impacts to this red region right here. So if you want to check out that post, you can do so by joining our Patreon for very, very cheap and you can always cancel. All right, now for today's comment of the day, I want to know, do you think that we're going to have a very snowy December? Because with the current setup, it's looking like for sure a possibility. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now let's get right into this video and first things first, we're taking a look at the latest kind of just frame from the RGEM model. We do have some snowfall mixing in for a lot of states like Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, Illinois. I know it's not showing it on this map, but when I looked at the current radar uh, this morning, we saw that there was some snow trying to mix in in different regions. It's going to mix in from west to east and eventually pretty much all areas there for Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky uh, are going to see some snowfall at some point. Let's take that to about I would say 11 a.m. this morning, which is Monday, November 30th, and you can see that we're going to have a lot of snowfall going on for Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, especially Ohio, and then portions of Michigan as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on towards this afternoon, where we're going to see even more regions switch over to snow, and we'll be able to see what this storm is going to do moving forward. All right, now here we are by about maybe 4 p.m. today on Monday, November 30th. And as you can see, we have that light to moderate snowfall going on for Ohio, Michigan. Portions of Kentucky and Tennessee are seeing some lighter snow showers by this point. Really, it's actually looking like we might see some lighter snowfall for the more um, the areas that are further away from the low pressure center. Look at that big cool down. That, guys, that is a massive trough and a massive warm front for the East Coast. If you're pretty much along the East Coast or any states that are touching the East Coast, you're really seeing a warm day today, but basically like the snap of a finger, this is what I've been telling my friends and family, on December 1st, we're just going to see a massive cold snap, and right now the models have that going on straight through the middle portion of the month, so there is no end in sight for that big cooldown that's just going to last from December 1st until, well, we don't really know how long it's going to last, uh, because pretty much through the end of all model runs, we see this cooldown. So we're going to watch it closely. There should be a lot of s snow opportunities since there will be the cold in place, which is very exciting for most of you, I'm sure. We will watch that and make videos about that moving forward, obviously. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to move on towards about 2 a.m. on Tuesday, December 1st. We're going to see that cool down move in, and also we're going to see a lot more areas switch over to snowfall. We'll begin to see the lake effect snow actually become a factor as well, all coming up in just a moment. All right, now here we are by about 2 a.m. on Tuesday, December 1st. Like I said, by the way, we've been using the RGEM model this entire time. One of my favorite models. I've said this for years now. Uh, I just absolutely love this model. It does a great job with situations just like this one. We see some light to moderate snowfall going on for Ohio, portions of West Virginia and Pennsylvania there, maybe some isolated regions. Also, the Smoky Mountains seeing some moderate snowfall, so I do expect you guys near Gatlinburg and surrounding regions to potentially see some snow showers, maybe even all the way as far south as central Georgia and central Alabama there. Very interesting. Possibly some flurries flying. We'll have to watch that closely. Let's just go ahead and take it to about 9 a.m. on Tuesday, December 1st. And as you can see, that lake effect snow becomes even heavier for areas like Cleveland and, again, surrounding regions. Uh, definitely some moderate snowfall going on for some regions. We're going to tack on quite a few inches after the storm moves out just in pure lake effect snow, so we'll be watching for that very, very closely. Let's just go ahead and take it to about 12 a.m. on Wednesday, December 2nd, so we'll be moving right into December 2nd here, and still, the lakes are just throwing off some bands into Ohio, Pennsylvania, even New York by this point, so we will maybe see some snow showers make their way all the way into Ohio, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia, although some of those areas further from the lakes have probably seen most of their snowfall already by this point. That very cold air, potent cold air, has already made its way all the way to the East Coast by this point. So that kind of warm-up that we saw for pretty much today on Monday uh, will be completely done by that point. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on. We're gonna take a look at one last frame of lake effect snow, and then we're gonna move on and just start talking about the total snowfall according to multiple models, and then we're gonna get into our final direct weather snowfall forecast for this storm. All right, now here we are taking a look at that one last frame here of simulated radar, and this is gonna be for almost I would say probably 11 p.m. there on Wednesday, December 2nd. As you can see, we have that lake effect snow going on for portions of New York. It's important to note that these could make their way pretty far into Pennsylvania, into New England. We've seen this from time to time with the more potent events with, with the lake effect snowfall, that they can make their way pretty far away from the lakes, actually a surprising distance. So we will be on the lookout for snow squalls. Things of that nature, snow showers, we'll be watching that. Obviously, this is pretty far out, so uh, we'll need to talk about this probably in a later update, potentially a Facebook post, which you can always check out our Facebook page down below. That's where I post more minor events sometimes, so if you're ever interested in that, also Instagram we might do as well. Let's just get right into the total snowfall that is from model guidance, and again, at the end, we'll be showing our updated snowfall forecast. Keep in mind, this isn't the snowfall that will accumulate. This is just the total snow that will fall out of the sky. We'll take a look at the total accumulation according to one of our models in just a moment, but also our direct weather forecast is going to be for the accumulated snowfall. So that's going to be a little more accurate than the model projections. I think pretty much all these models are looking a little bit more than what we're going to get. Uh, and it's because, again, it's just, it's just counting the snow that falls out of the sky. So if you're anywhere in the grays, it's maybe a dusting. Uh, in the blues, it's where you're at a couple of inches, an inch to maybe two or three, four inches. The purples is where you're at about like five, six, seven, eight inches potentially. That's going to be pretty exclusive for areas in northern Ohio, potentially northwestern Pennsylvania and western New York, depending on how active uh, those lakes get on the more eastern side of things. We'll watch that closely. I think areas in the Smoky Mountains, also areas in uh, West Virginia and Pennsylvania are a little overdone there, so... I'm thinking that's a little overdone there, according to our RGEM model, our NAM model here. And an interesting thing about the NAM model is it is known for overdoing things as far as precipitation, so likely this is a little bit too much. Uh, the most important thing to note here is where it's showing the most snowfall, which is northern Ohio there. Let's just take a look at our European model's projection here. And again, same story, northern Ohio getting the most here according to this model. But let's switch over to the snow depth, the total snow depth according to this model. And this is a little bit more of a realistic expectation as far as how much snowfall you can expect. Again, in the grays, that's where you're at about a dusting to maybe an inch or two of snow. In the blues, that's where you're at about two to six inches of snow. And then in the purples, that's where you're at about six to ten. And those pinks is indicating ten inches plus. So that's going to be pretty exclusive for northern Ohio. Again, this one you don't have to subtract any in your head because this is actually the snow depth that the model is predicting. So this is actually what would accumulate on the ground. So this is a very realistic uh, expectation as far as what could come. Here's our GFS model, and this is back to the total snow, not the accumulated snowfall. Again, keeping the most up there in northern Ohio. Uh, and then finally, our Canadian model, same exact story. It has the most there for northern Ohio, possibly northwestern Pennsylvania and western New York. So if you've kind of tried to compare all of these, you've probably noticed that they all look pretty similar, which is a very good sign that these models have a very good idea of what's to come. Very good news there, probably meaning we have a pretty accurate uh, projection of what could come. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move on, take a look at our final direct weather forecast for this storm coming up in just a moment. All right, now here we are taking a look at our first layer here, and this is our dusting to three inch layer. A lot of things have changed on this forecast, by the way. So uh, keep in mind, we I think we've reduced a little bit of the regions. We've, we've made them a bit smaller. We'll see all that in just a moment. Basically, in this white region, that's where you will see some snow. Some snow, I'm thinking, for a lot of these regions. Now let's just go ahead and move on and take a look at our three to six inch region. Keep in mind, again, this is the accumulation, not the total snowfall now. So this is actually what I expect to be on the ground once it's all said and done. Anywhere in these blue regions, I'm expecting three to six inches of snow. So that includes some eastern regions there of Michigan. Most of Ohio, with the, I guess, exception of the very southern regions and the very western regions of Ohio there. I see a lot of West Virginia, a lot of western Pennsylvania, and even some areas up there uh, for northern New York, and also the Smoky Mountains are included in that as well. Very interesting. 
Now here's our six to 10 inch region, and this is one of the ones that has receded a lot. This is very exclusive for Northern Ohio here and Northwestern Pennsylvania. Uh, and I do expect a 10 inch plus region to set up. A lot of the models were trending at that, even our snow depth according to the European model here. I think for Northern Ohio, we will have a very small band of 10 inches plus that sets up where those lakes really uh, increase the, the snowfall rates uh, when those bands are heading over you guys. So I think for very far Northern Ohio, we can expect to see 10 inches plus for a few select regions. Anyway, that's it. That's our official forecast. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for watching all of these videos. This has been a very popular storm, so we're going to be doing similar videos for pretty much every snowstorm this year, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, when do you think our next snowstorm will be after this one? And Zeta Derv said, I think there could be another snowstorm as early as later this week, probably in the same general area that is going to get hit with this storm. And I have to agree, I think I'm watching the Ohio Valley, I'm watching the Midwest for a potential another storm coming up uh, in the near future, with possibly within the next seven days. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Diamond patrons, Michael Cotalesa, Alicia Davis, Marcus Conley, Catbite, Alan Cherry, Terry Curtis, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Bill Roberts, Kellen Manhart, Michael Buell, Mariah Vieira, Noah Harley, and Mark J., Alongside our Platinum Patrons, Adam S., John Bembenek, Justin Quantrell, Donna Carnes, Alan Belemo, Larry LaPan, Dovey Nagel, James Wade, and Cameron Marshall. If you would like to end up on this Patreon end screen, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.